2016 Lexus RCF review what's new for 2016 the 2016 Lexus RCF carries over intact other than a new infotainment feature Lexus inform service connect and available orange painted brake calipers introduction Lexus launched the RCF in 2015 as its third entry to wear the division's performance oriented F moniker the LFA and his F being the other two. An amalgamation of the IS sedan, IS convertible and GS sedan, the RCF landed into the thick end of the performance coupe segment alongside heavy hitting competitors. The Lexus RCF is a hot heat up version of the more pedestrian RC coupes, of which there are now three others, the RC 200 tons, RC 300 and RC 350. Taking the fight to those elite German sport coupes required Lexus to beef up nearly every aspect of the RC to create the RCF. Externally, the RCF wears more aggressive styling, 19-inch wheels, quad exhaust tips, and available features like an actively deploying rear spoiler and a carbon fiber roof panel. But what really sets the RCF apart from its stable mates is what's beneath the reworked skin. Headlining the changes are the RCF's naturally aspirated 467 horsepower 5.0 liter V8, upsized Brembo brake hardware, more aggressive suspension tuning and an available torque vectoring rear differential. A strikingly styled cabin is still part of the mix, blending contemporary visual drama and rich feeling materials in equal measure. Its seats also stand out for their ability for a wide variety of posteriors to find exceptional comfort and support. The RCF's exterior styling may not be to everyone's liking, but we have to at least give credit to Lexus for trying something adventurous. At the root of the RCF's downsides is its heavy weight, which takes a toll on the car's athleticism. It's not as sharp or rewarding to drive as other high-performance coupes in its segment, and its acceleration suffers as well. Its stability control system can be over-eager to dial back the fun, though there's always the off button. While the ride quality isn't overly harsh, it's certainly quite firm, and some drivers may find this fatiguing on long drives. Last. The fiddly touchpad controller and navigation-equipped RCFs is distracting to use, which we discover during a long-term test of a 2015 RCF. Overall, we're partial to the 2016 BMW M4. It's a superior performer, is more fun to drive and doesn't suffer from as many faults. There's also the highly impressive 2016 Cadillac ATS V to think about and, if you wait until summer 2016, the stunning 2017 Mercedes AMG C63 Coupe. But if you're not prioritizing absolute performance and are more interested in a combination luxury and style, the RCF should work out well. Body styles, trim levels and options the 2016 Lexus RCF is a compact, rear-wheel drive, four-passenger high-performance sport coupe. Standard equipment for the 2016 RCF includes 19-inch wheels with summer tires, a sports-tuned suspension, high-performance Brembo brakes, LED headlights, keyless ignition and entry, automatic climate control, a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel auto dimming mirror, a rear view camera, a 10-way power driver seat, an 8-way power passenger seat, driver memory settings, heated front seats and simulated leather upholstery. Standard electronics features include Bluetooth phone and audio connectivity, a 7-inch display, a configurable multi-instrument display, voice commands and a 10-speaker sound system with satellite radio, HD radio an auxiliary audio jack and a USB interface. Also standard is Lexus Inform Remote and Lexus Inform Service Connect, which allows one, via smartphone, to remotely lock or unlock the doors, start and stop the car, turn the climate control on or off, 
find the vehicle and obtain vehicle status reports and receive maintenance alerts via email and push notifications. There are several option packages, though availability can vary depending on the region in which you live. The premium package includes an active rear spoiler, heated and ventilated front seats, carbon fiber interior trim, automatic wipers, auto dimming side mirrors and blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. The performance package features a carbon fiber roof and a rear spoiler, as well as a torque vectoring differential in place of the standard torsen mechanical unit. The all weather package includes a windshield deasser, headlight washers and a heated steering wheel. The navigation package incorporates a console mounted touchpad controller, a navigation system, upgraded voice commands and smartphone app integration, including Bing, Yelp, Pandora and iHeartRadio. The navigation, Mark Levinson package adds a 17 speaker surround sound audio system. Standalone option highlights include a sunroof, leather upholstery, adaptive cruise control, bundled with a pre-collision system, and front and rear parking sensors. Powertrains and performance The 2016 Lexus RCF comes with a 5.0-liter V8 generating 467 horsepower and 389 pound-feet of torque. A performance-oriented 8-speed automatic transmission is standard and routes that power to the rear wheels. A manual transmission is not available. At test track, an RCF sprinted to 60 miles per hour in 4.7 seconds. That's certainly a quick time, though it's a few tenths or so off the speediest segment entries. The EPA estimates the Lexus RCF will deliver 19 miles per gallon combined, 16 city slash 25 highway. Safety The 2016 Lexus RCF standard safety equipment includes anti lock disc brakes with brake assist, traction and stability control, front seat side airbags, front knee airbags, and side curtain airbags. Also standard is Lexus Inform Safety Connect, an onboard emergency telematics system that incorporates collision notification, a stolen vehicle locator, and roadside assistance. The optional premium package includes blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert. The adaptive cruise control option is bundled with a collision mitigation system that can initiate braking automatically if a frontal impact is deemed imminent. When the RC lineup debuted last year it earned the top rating of good from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in its small overlap and moderate overlap front impact tests. It also scored the top rating of good inside impact, rollover performance and whiplash protection from its front seats. In brake testing, the RCF stopped from 60 miles per hour in a short 106 feet, an excellent result, though one that's comparable to other premium brand, high performance coupes. Interior design and special features The 2016 Lexus RCF's dramatically styled four-seat cabin is trimmed in consistently high-quality materials. Dense padding covers the upper dashboard, armrests and even the sides of the center console, where knees tend to rub. Most drivers will find the front seats impressively supportive yet supple, but those with larger frames might feel slightly snug. Like those of many coupes, the rear seats are very short on legroom and best left for kids or cargo. Headroom back there isn't much better. Though the multi tiered cockpit is unusual, it is attractive and contemporary overall, with a terraced layout and subtly upscale touches. The audio and climate controls are steeply angled, reinforcing the RCF's sporty vibe and the buttons and knobs are generally easy to use. The navigation system's touchpad controller is the one notable foible in the cabin. Inspired by a computer trackpad, this controller is the primary method for making audio and navigation selections, and it's far from ideal. Although the 7-inch display is sharp, cursor control with the touchpad is jerky, particularly when you're on the move.
not to mention the fact that all the icons are the same color. Thankfully, there are a few redundant console-mounted hard buttons, but a conspicuous absence of one for a shortcut to the map screen. As far as carrying stuff, the RCF's trunk provides 10.1 cubic feet of capacity, about one or two cubes fewer than competitors. The rear seat does not fold down as it does in base RC variants, however, due to the F's additional structural bracing behind the seat. Driving impressions The 2016 Lexus RCF V8 is a free-roving jewel that smoothly zings to redline and makes glorious sounds while doing so. A feline grunt is respectable, while you'll notice an increasingly insistent push in your back as the revs climb. At the right speed and throttle position, the RCF's exhaust opens up to allow a rather glorious deep V8 bellow to fill the cabin. The 8-speed automatic is impressively smooth during normal driving, and the adjustable driving modes can be used to quicken its responses. Driver selected shifts via the paddle shifters, however, lack the responsiveness and precision provided by rival performance coupes with the latest automated manual transmissions.